By the end of this video, you're going to have 16 different ideas of how you can use Zapier to automate everything in your life. Check the link in our description to go to No Code MBA's complete guide to Zapier course to learn even more about how to build in Zapier. The first automation that I'm going to share is going to be really helpful if you are a marketer that works with a YouTube channel. So with this automation, Zapier is going to check for new data uh, every two minutes for a new file in Google Drive. If there is a new file in your Google Drive folder, it's then going to take that, full, that uh, file and upload it directly to YouTube. So this is a really helpful automation uh, and it's one that I actually may look into for myself with no code MBA. This automation is another cool one that uses OpenAI. So we're going to uh, automate our expense tracking by forwarding receipts uh, to an email, uh, sending uh, those receipts to OpenAI to turn it into structured data. And then we're going to uh, take that data and put it into a Google spreadsheet. So it's a way to automate expense tracking um, by simply uh, forwarding an email um, to uh, with a receipt um, to a Zapier email address. This one I think is pretty cool. It's automated meeting minutes, uh, summarization, and then sending those minutes to um, ourselves by sending an email. So here when we have a new cloud recording in Zoom, what we can do is take that and create a transcription uh, from that cloud recording. And then uh, what we would want to do after that is add another step. And that step is going to be OpenAI. And we're going to um, create a transcription, but then we're going to do one more thing, which is summarizing that transcription into uh, meeting minutes and then send those uh, minutes to our uh, email. Uh, so a really cool automation here to automatically uh, get summarized um, meeting minutes from a, um, a Zoom call. This next automation is going to be really helpful if you have a Webflow site. So how this works is if you have a form on your Webflow site and you don't have this automation set up, uh, there's no way to get that data into a spreadsheet uh, directly from Webflow. All they can do is send it to your email. So with this automation, uh, you can get a form submission in Webflow and then send that directly to a Google spreadsheet. And this is something that you can change out this um, from Webflow to uh, other tools such as Squarespace um, or other tools that you might be working with to build your website as well. This is another one that I find really useful. Uh, it is taking a WordPress blog or it could be Webflow or other platform. And when you publish that blog, uh, sending it to OpenAI with a prompt asking you to turn it into tweets. And then what we can do is uh, send those to our email so that we can review them and then uh, tweet them out when we're ready. So essentially taking uh, a blog and converting it into tweets. This next automation is taking a Google Calendar new event. So when you have a new event in Google Calendar, adding that to Trello. Uh, so the way that this works is it's looking for a new event that happens in your Google Calendar. So you just go ahead and click connect your Google Calendar and it's going to add that to your Trello board. This is really helpful if you just want to make sure that you are putting those events uh, into a separate place so you don't forget about them on your Google Calendar, and then you can do uh, more with them in Trello, such as uh, preparing for them and making sure that you do everything that you need to do uh, to get ready for that event. So this next automation is a way for uh, marketers or salespeople to take a new lead send that lead to OpenAI. So you would send um, that lead to your OpenAI uh, with a prompt to uh, add information about the lead. And then I want uh, that prompt to uh, triage that lead uh, into a uh, certain um, type of lead. So whether it is a uh, really good lead, uh, whether it is not as good of a lead, and then we're gonna send that to um, our email uh, to let us know uh, how more information about that lead. Uh, so it's a really great way to uh, get a lead, send that information to OpenAI, and then have it analyze that lead and send more information to us automatically. So this next automation is a little bit more of a personal automation, uh, but what you can do is get a text message uh, when it's going to rain. So to do that, you can use the weather by Zapier uh, trigger, enter your latitude and longitude, 
and then uh, we can send um, an SMS uh, to ourselves, uh, giving us the weather um, if it's going to rain. Uh, so this is a really helpful one uh, just for personal use. This is a cool automation to create a personalized digest of saved articles to read later. Uh, so the way that this works is first we're going to use Feedly, which, which is an app that allows you uh, to create RSS feeds of um, different topics. And then when there's a new article um, in that uh, feed or that board, as Feedly likes to call it, we're going to um, send that here into this digest by Zapier uh, app, uh, which is allowing us to add entries um, to a list and then schedule uh, the digest. And then when we schedule it out, we're going to save it into our Pocket app. Uh, Pocket is a way to read articles um, on the go. So we're connecting uh, three different apps or two different apps here using Zapier in the middle uh, to organize it. This next one is another very cool one using OpenAI. So what we can do is convert incoming emails into tasks using OpenAI and sending those as, into Trello to create Trello cards. So what we can do is when we get a new inbound email, uh, what we can do is uh, send that email to OpenAI to analyze uh, the contents and then take those contents and turn it into a, a task that we put into uh, Trello or we could do Asana or any other type of to-do list software here. Here's one that I like to call an email summarizer. Uh, so if we have a new inbound email, um, what we can do is take that and send it to OpenAI and then just get a summary and send that back to ourselves. Uh, so just a really easy way to automatically get email summaries uh, without, having, without having to read um, the entire email. This is a cool automation to help you automate your travel. Uh, so if you create a new trip, uh, in this app, TripWorks, uh, what it's going to do is we can then send a prompt uh, to OpenAI to ask it to create an itinerary for us. And then we can get an email uh, sending us the itinerary that it has. Uh, so pretty cool uh, way to automatically get an itinerary for your trip. And also uh, you could change this to uh, a different way of, of getting this information. So it could be to send an email to uh, Zapier or it could be to send an SMS. Um, it could be to uh, create a new um, task in a project in Todoist. So there's different ways that you can use this trigger uh, and then send, uh, you know, the location along with the prompt to OpenAI and then get the result back in your email. Here's another one that I think is pretty useful. Uh, when we have a new Zoom cloud recording, we can automatically save that to our Google Drive folder. Uh, so you don't have to worry about downloading uh, the file and then uploading it to Google Drive, it will just do it uh, automatically every time you have a new uh, Zoom recording. So you don't have to worry about those getting deleted or losing those. Here's another one that I think is pretty cool. Uh, when you have a new uh, event in your Google Calendar, uh, what we can do is send an SMS. So if it's um, if your event is coming up or event has started, uh, send a, a text message to yourself to, your, to remind yourself to uh, go to the event. So you don't have to rely on uh, the push notification just in case you have uh, that turned off. Uh, you'll get a text message to make sure that you won't miss that meeting. This is a cool one if you run Facebook lead ads. So every time you get a new lead from a Facebook lead ad, uh, we can send ourselves an email uh, to uh, either send the email to ourself uh, so we're notifying us or we can email that new lead automatically. Uh, to send them more information. So you can do it either way. Uh, both, I think, are uh, pretty cool automations with Facebook lead. Here's another one that I think is pretty cool. So if you have a new media posted in your account in Instagram, like an Instagram uh, reel, you can automatically up that, upload that to YouTube so you don't have to duplicate that work and uh, upload your video in both places. So with this automation, when you get a new form submission in Unbounce, and this, again, the trigger could be Unbounce, it could be Webflow, it could be Squarespace, it could be anywhere you're getting a form submission, it could be Typeform. Uh, we're going to send a Slack channel message uh, to Slack, and this is really helpful if you have a team in Slack that needs to then respond to those um, form responses, maybe it's a sales team. Uh, there's a lot of use cases here to automatically send information to Slack. I hope that you found some inspiration in these Zap 
templates. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment below. Be sure to follow our channel to get more free content like this in the future. And be sure to check the link in the description to go to our full advanced Zapier course on No Code MBA. And check out No Code MBA's other courses, including courses on Airtable, Webflow, Bubble, Flutterflow, and much more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.